right friends welcome back to good morning new india and the first news item is infosys plans to hire 10000 americans so now the effect of donald trump is clearly evident now software firms instead of depending on h1b visas they are trying to hire american workers look into the next one institute to tap gut microbes for drugs here microbes as per the news report human body has got 35 trillion cells and at the same time human body has got about 2 to 3 times as many microbial organisms it has got around 35 trillion cells and at the same time 2 to 3 times as many microbial organisms and most of them live in gastrointestinal tract and here probiotics what is meant by probiotics probiotics means the microbes which are in our human body which are for beneficial use they are known as probiotics and accordingly this useful bacteria will be tapped for making the drugs that is about this news item useful bacteria or you can say probiotics in our body will be tapped for making drugs so that is the news item turkish detour this is the editorial in the hindu and here i would like to explain you with regard to two three things one is please look into this the visit of turkey president coincided with two incidents the two incidents are our vice president's visit to armenia please look into this our vice president's visit to armenia and the point to note is turkey has got no diplomatic relations with armenia because of the reason there is some dispute with regard to one particular region between armenia and azerbaijan then second point is cyprus this northern part of cyprus cyprus is the island nation in mediterranean sea the northern part of cyprus is occupied by turkey and meanwhile the cyprus president just a few days before the visit of turkey president visited india and because of these two reasons probably turkey president was not happy one the visit of the vice president to armenia and second point the visit of cyprus president to india and there were news reports that the president asked india for intervention with the turkey for reunification of cyprus because of these two items turkey president was probably not happy and please look at the two three sentences or statements of turkey president turkey president gave the statement that the issue of kashmir can be resolved multilaterally he knows very well that kashmir issue is bilateral issue second point he stated that there is no objection for entry of india into nuclear suppliers group but the caveat is he immediately told that pakistan also should be considered and most of the countries in the world very well know that pakistan is behind the proliferation of nuclear technology across the world right because of these two incidents of cyprus as well as armenia turkish president probably was not happy and incidentally please don't forget turkey is a sunni majority nation and pakistan is also sunni majority and turkey now turkish president wants to recognize himself as the leader of the muslim community now turkey is moving away from secularism and at the same time more and more authoritative tendencies are also evident in erdogan nowadays right then the next one is modi expresses concern at australia visa policy as we have discussed few days ago australia new zealand then singapore america 
one after the other they are looking at more and more controls or you can say the countries are now resorting to anti immigration measures and in this connection one policy recently this australia announced scrapping of 457 visa policy recently australia announced a scrapping of 457 visa policy and this issue was raised by the prime minister when the australian prime minister rang up narendra modi before going ahead when you are looking at australia great barrier if don't forget then maduro seeks a new constitution this is the socialist country this is venezuela the socialist country and it is suffering because of the fall in oil prices and this is classic example what will happen to the countries when they are predominantly dependent on only one product now the president says that he seeks a new constitution and the country is in turmoil basically and inflation increased hundreds of times and people are suffering badly because of the fall in oil prices look into the next one india to unveil new iip series the present iip series pertains to 2004-5 and based on 2011-12 baseline new iip series will be unveiled shortly index of industrial production here it constitutes manufacturing 75 percent weightage is for manufacturing and products are somewhere around 620 or so and mining has got 14 percent weightage electricity has got 10 percent weightage and in iip the weightages of eight core industries i have given here i explained you number of times please go through them then eclectic fpi mix drives indian equities this fpi foreign portfolio investors as per the news report 8000 foreign portfolio investors are registered with the sebi for investments in our indian stock market 8000 are registered with the sebi and maximum of them are from united states of america please don't forget and this is foreign portfolio investments these are the traits of foreign portfolio investments from examination perspective please go through them and i have given when excessive capital flows comes to the country asset bubbles may take place appreciation of currencies may take place and when capital flight suddenly takes place asset crashes can take place and depreciation in currencies may take place please don't forget we are in this process now now excess capital flows are coming to the country then if you look at other one pmi data fitch outlook point to a humming economy here the agency projects 7.7 percent gdp growth for 2017-18 and this purchasing managers index stood at 52.5 purchasing managers index if it is less than 50 it indicates contraction if it is more than 50 it indicates expansion and two three important aspects it is the measure for both manufacturing and services it is given separately but manufacturing is keenly watched and another thing is it looks at private sector industries or you can say it looks at the health of private sector industries that is very important point then criteria for pmi for manufacturing pmi five issues are there for services pmi five issues are there please go through it and remaining data i have given here if it is 50 it denotes no change if it is above 50 it indicates improvement if it is less than 50 it indicates deterioration ireda to raise 300 million dollars here you see what is ireda ireda is indian renewable energy development agency and it is the organization or you can say mini ratna company under the ministry of new and renewable energy and now it is going to raise 300 million dollars so basically to finance clean energy projects and another point is it is going to issue masala bonds these are rupee denominated bonds and the currency risk lies with the investor and it is going for masala bonds 
then Madhya Pradesh shifts to January December fiscal year. The Prime Minister in a Niti Aayog Governing Council meeting proposed the idea of fiscal year from January to December and Madhya Pradesh is the first state now shifts to January to December, right? Next one is the GST network starts pilot testing of filing of returns. GST network, it is non-governmental private limited company and here the government shareholding is 49% and other organizations will hold 51%. This is very important. CPEC may turn Beijing mediator on Kashmir issue, Chinese media report. Chinese media stated that CPEC may turn Beijing mediator on Kashmir issue because it passes through Gilgit Baltistan region. Now, China is behind Pakistan or you can say China's support as far as Kashmir issue is concerned will immensely increase as far as Pakistan is concerned. What I mean to say is Pakistan is going to get immense support from China in future as far as Kashmir is concerned. That is going to be the biggest worry for our country. Then 21 billion dollars in black money went out of India in 2014. One organization, Global Financial Integrity, this is the think tank based in Washington, it stated with regard to the black money flows and the topmost country is China as far as inflows, as far as outflows is concerned and India has got 101 billion dollars inflow and outflow is 21 billion dollars in 2014, right. And how the money flows? As per the article, the money flows or crosses the boundary through under invoicing of exports, under invoicing of exports and over invoicing of imports that is basically the fraudulent trade route where black money goes out of country and comes into the country. Then 13.5 crore Aadhaar accounts compromised. The news item is around 13 and of crore Aadhaar accounts details are made public. This is against the rules and regulations of Aadhaar Act. Please go through this article. Next important article is 12,000 farm suicides per year center stated to the Supreme Court. Almost for the past 3-4 years, every year 12,000 farm suicides are taking place and the most important aspect is this area is worst affected. Almost central part or you can say Deccan part of the country is worst affected and Maharashtra accounts for almost one third of the total farm suicides and followed by Karnataka, Telangana, right? So, farm suicides is the biggest problem the country is facing. 12,000 farmers committed suicide and farmers distress is one important aspect which everyone must think of. Right friends, this concludes Good Morning New India. Please do join for other capsules. Have a nice day. Thank you.